Hey guys, it's Jeremiah here trapping today. I am here in the first shed just processing some beavers on this beautiful morning and uploading YouTube videos. So I just uh, put together a bunch of the Martin trapping videos from my first check on the line uh, in here in Northern Maine and absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful day. And uh, it turned out to be the best Martin check I've ever had in my life. And so just a little background. I absolutely love martin trapping and it's it's my favorite thing to do here in in the woods in northern Maine and I, I wanted to run you through a bunch of the sets you know in the past I've done uh, basically every time I make a catch I go ahead and film and show a martin or a fisher in a trap and occasionally film misses and stuff like that but I thought I might let you kind of experience a little bit of the uh, the ups and downs and checking a bunch of traps without fur in them and going in and checking before I turn the, turn the camera on before I've actually visited the, the set. And so you get a little, maybe a little more experience that like you're, you're actually there running the traps with me. So I pieced that together. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I'm not making money off of this. Uh, I mean, th this is not professionally done or shot. And so the camera's bouncy. It's moving all over the place. It's just me holding this phone. And uh, actually, I was trying to record this with my GoPro, and I, I couldn't get that. That's all messed up right now. So uh, I'm just holding my phone right now, too. This is going to be a little bit uh, shaky, but you might get a little dizzy watching it. You can complain. I don't care. I'm sorry, but this is what it is. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I, I absolutely had the best, like I said, the best run I've ever had. Um, this first part is going to show checking a bunch of traps with uh, without much fur. And then I think the second part I'll I'll show basically the where, where things really got got going into high gear and I started making a lot of catches. Um, a another quick little plug I wanted to uh, let you know about my new store trappingtodaystore.com, and that's where I have basically everything that I offer for sale. I have my two books, uh, Walter Arnold Main Trapper and uh, Fur Profit. I also have these sweet new shirts. This is. The uh, Trapping Today, let's see if I can get a better angle on this. Uh, prized Mustelids of the North American Trapper. Uh, this is a shirt that my friend Philippe, who is a podcast listener and a, as you can tell, professional artist, he put that, uh, all those drawings together. And uh, we got Trapping Today on the top there. Uh, this is a high quality shirt. It's, it's real good material. Um, it shouldn't shrink on you. And, and it's really super comfortable uh, material. It's a tri-blend from Bella Canvas. And 25 bucks, free shipping, you get the shirt. So check that out at trappingtodaystore.com. And uh, what else? Uh, I've got lure there. L all the lure that I use on my trap line I make here. I've got uh, some of that for sale as well. So check that out at the store. And thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoy these videos. I got this, uh, these two Martin videos. I have more checks coming up and then uh, I've got a bunch of beaver videos. I get, I don't know, 20, 25 beavers uh, the last couple of weeks. And I tried to take videos where I could. And I'm going to piece those together and do a kind of a fall beaver trapping thing as well. So enjoy. Take care. We'll see you soon. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Felt like I had to share this with you guys. The sun is coming up. I'm the only one on this road system. I, all the mud puddles are frozen solid. So... I'm setting out Martin and Fisher traps opening day. It is a nice day. I watched the moon in front of me this morning heading out and the sun was come, getting ready to rise directly behind me and the clouds were pink and gray. And it was just incredibly beautiful. Pretty awesome stuff. So I've got a bunch of boxes in the woods here and I'm just kind of cranking them out. I'm grabbing a trap and some bait and running in um, checking my locations are marked on GPS adding some bait and lure throwing the trap in and going and I got a truckload of boxes here back behind me that I'm gonna set out after I'm done these first 30 or so that are in the woods so it'll be a long day but it's gonna be a fun day it's beautiful out here well here we are just setting up another spot with a Martin box 120, some bait and lure. And uh, in the middle of the woods, off on the logging road, it's Sunday morning, about seven o'clock. 
and we're about 30 miles from town. If you listen in the background, it was a little louder earlier, just boom, boom, crash, boom, crash, crash, crash. There's, oh, hear it. A lot of noise. Someone's working with a machine, probably an excavator building a road or something on a Sunday morning. Um, I love it up here. I love trapping in this country. But boy, that's the reason that I would like to be trapping in Alaska instead because it's <laughs> remote and quiet. But this is about as remote as you're going to get in northern Maine. So I'm not complaining, but that's just so you get an idea what we have to deal with. I I've got to kind of do try to dodge as many logging operations as possible, get in and out my traps and try not to get in any dangerous situations with trucks on the roads and stuff. So um, you just never know. I mean, I could have, there might not be, like this road, there might not be uh, any wood harvesting taking place here for the next 10, 15 years. Or next week I could come check my traps and there could be uh, a bunch of machines going right steady and cutting all these trees down around my sets and uh, so you just never know but we uh, that's one thing I'm learning about trapping up here is just learning to adapt and be a little more uh, flexible with things but anyway got to get to the next trap it is nice quiet calm morning first check of the season had these traps out here in the big woods for four days so I just checked five this is number six it's a nice little spot in the woods we set about 50 traps for martin and fisher so we've got a lot to check but i like this area mature trees and stuff and i got my box right in there and she's fired trap is fired let's see what's in there we got a weasel it looks like he hadn't turned color yet still a bit early but that's good, we got something. Something's better than nothing, right? Now look how foggy it is out there. This is Northern Maine weather at its best. Two nights ago, we were, I set these traps, I guess four nights ago, and uh, four days ago, and two nights ago, we were 10 degrees overnight. Some places that up here probably dropped into single digits. And then, oh, there's a partridge. Too bad I don't my shotgun. And uh, then we, this south wind started to breeze, come, come in this uh, yesterday morning and started to warm up a little bit. Clouds came in, there's another grouse. Um, and then it warmed up overnight and it got all foggy and it's supposed to be up in the 40s in the 50 degrees today. So crazy, crazy weather. But anyway, I'm hoping that the Martin and Fisher moved a fair bit during that 10 degree night, that calm, cold night. We'll see, see how we do in checking the traps. All right, I'm gonna show you my trick. Promise not to tell anybody. <laughs> uh, it's not very clever, but I have uh, just a little piece of flagging at my sets and I've got them all marked GPS on X map app on my phone and and my GPS just to be double safe um, This spot is a pretty heavily cut over area uh, a while back and it's kind of starting to grow back and there's a road that goes up Above here that I was gonna set on and there's nothing for habitat. So I found this little patch of spruce and fir trees And so I just stuck a box in here Let's see, it was a larger box, a 160. I thought maybe a fisher would be traveling the road and, and um, smell my lure. Come in here. Oh, the trap is set off. I haven't checked this one yet. So I, I don't know what's in here or not, what might, may or may not be in here. I don't think there's anything in here. Looks like uh, I had grouse for bait and it's been all messed around with and pulled out. Maybe a weasel, but let's take a peek. Maybe a weasel fired off the trap and didn't get caught. See this stuff, see all these, these down logs and stuff? 
all this different habitat. This is real complex. I like it. Good cover and complex forest floor. All right. These boxes all froze pretty good on me. Look at all those feathers. Yeah. Been a weasel in there messing around. Set my trap off. All right. It's okay. I'm going to probably stick something bigger in there for bait. Maybe draw Martin the Fisher. Get those feathers in there. All right, we'll reset this and check the next one. Oh, I forgot to tell you my secret. My flag is almost always on the opposite side of the road that my trap is on. So it might, it won't throw off anybody who's smart, but you never know. Someone might be following the flags and then just kind of is see the flag and it looks down in there for a trap and can't find it. There's no snow on the ground to see my tracks. And uh, it may slow somebody down, but. Here we are in kind of a buffer strip in between two clear cut plantations. The one on that side, and there's one over there on that side. And this is kind of a harvested buffer, so there's skid trails and stuff in through here, but there's cover. I think there's enough cover for Martin to hang out in here. And lots of spaces for mice and stuff for them to hunt. There's a little trail off here. That's where I got my Martin set. You get a higher elevation here, we get a little bit of snow. Nothing there. There it sets, waiting. All right. All right, got a nice little patch of snow in here. Under these big cedars, nice little bit of martin habitat. White box, I like how that box blends in. <laughs> That's nice. And the trap is set off, sweet, okay. I smell my lure, whoo, strong. Oh yeah, yes sir. Yes sir, first martin of the season, I think. Oh baby, what a beauty. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. So, another little secret. Um, this is this is a nice little patch of wood here and some nice martin habitat these cedars and all this cover in here uh, the lure that i used here i can smell it pretty good is something a little unconventional but some of the old time martin trappers will tell you they have really uh surprisingly good luck with it it's uh, perfume so i can smell the perfume right now it's kind of cool uh, it's a it's a good strong smell and early in the season it it uh, seems to attract martin quite a bit so look at that first first martin of the season awesome love it great way to to get started caught a martin in the last set about a quarter mile back from here and this road dead ends just a little ways down and there's a lot of country beyond that dead end that uh, is not accessed and not being trapped or anything pretty good looking habitat based on the aerial maps so i uh I popped one in here a little close to the last set where I caught that Martin, but you never know. Sometimes they're in groups. Depends on where you are and where the home ranges are and everything else. So, that one, nothing there yet. All right, good deal. Back to the main road we go. Always like to see that. Nobody's been on this road in the last couple, three days since the snow. It's always nice to have no fresh tracks. Get the place to myself. I just pulled off the main road. I checked a couple sets there, but they're trucking, so I didn't stop to record anything. Oh, there's a set of tracks. Oh, that's a rabbit. We got a set up here at the intersection of this road and another road. Right, the radio is going in the background. Uh, keep track of the log trucks. There we go. Set right off this intersection. I showed this one, this location to you guys earlier. All right, let's go check it out.
no fish are traveling on the road, so at least not right there. Probably nothing in this set yet. Nope, trap is still set. That bait's still there, everything looks good, so okay. Carry on. Alright, just pulled up my Onyx and I got three traps uh, on this road system. I, I got four total, just check that first one. So I got three more to go. I remember one's at the base of a spruce tree. I think it's a big spruce tree up there. And then uh, one at a turnaround and one at the very end of the road. So let's check these. Something walking the road. Moose. Moose come down the road. There, traps there, baits there. Nothing touched, okay. God, it's a nice morning. Sun's actually gonna show up today. sound coming from my electric window in this truck. It's not Alaska, but I ain't going to Alaska this year, so this is as good as I'm going to get. Martin trapping in some pretty wild country for the Northeast. There's my notebook, got all my set locations there, descriptions and numbers, type of trap and I got a little symbol for the type of bait and the type of lure, little abbreviations for those. So someday, you know, and then I keep track of every set, what I catch at every set that makes a catch. So someday maybe I can put that all together and come up with some patterns and start to learn a little bit more about what works and what doesn't. One thing I learned last year was that fish worked a lot better. Most people don't use fish for Martin up here, and I did really well with fish last year. So I'm, I, I put fish in about a third of my sets this year, and I'm anxious to see if that pattern continues. Obviously, beaver meat is our, our go to bait here, and then we have a variety of other things that we use as well. Okay, so this one's gonna be, there's a turnaround, or a, kind of a pull-out turnaround that log trucks used last time they were in here. I got a set off the end of that. That should be coming up here on the left. There it is. See, there's actually a nice patch of trees there. They came in and they cut a lot on this side of the road, but this side, not so much. No tracks in the snow. There's a flag where my set's at. I thought I'd show you guys some locations not just show like the last few years I just show you when I catch something so and you get to experience a little bit of what it's like to go 15 20 30 40 50 60 70 sets without catching anything there we go on a down log squirrels coming in and out of the box but no martin no weasel no fisher no tracks nice looking spot though Fog. Fog should lift throughout the day, throughout the morning. The sun's trying to burn its way through. It's 
pretty warm. This snow's gonna melt here the next couple days. Okay, now we're gonna go to the very end of the road. Four wheel drive. Look at that moose again. Something else, it's not a moose. Snowshoe hair, and a that looks like a lynx. That it looks like a lynx track. Endangered, threatened species that we see everywhere. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite certain that's a lynx track. Okay, well, that's why we get these lynx exclusion boxes so we don't catch those boogers until they get delisted from the Endangered Species Act. Uh, but they are everywhere, they are everywhere up here. Hoping for a martin track or even a fisher. It's pretty good looking martin country out here. So this next one I've got, I hope no one watching this knows which road I'm on. <laughs> There's only about 10,000 roads that look like this in northern Maine. But I got this one right next to the road, right next to that turnaround, just kind of on the back side of the bank. I don't have to go too far to check it. But it's at this dead end road and it, I mean again, I'm, I'm scouting these areas using the onyx and looking at the aerial photos and seeing what the cover looks like and all that and uh, where the roads are and this is a nice spot at the end of this road and there's not no timber harvest for uh, quite quite a large area beyond the end of this road uh, that won't last probably in the next five to ten years it'll all be cut um, more than likely almost 100 percent certainty of that but for now we're gonna Try to catch a mark. Okay. The moose come in. Is the moose curious about my set? Smell my lure? <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look how nice this is. And we're on a high spot, so our scent is gonna drift down through that valley. Any Martin moving up and down there. Smell our lure. We got nothing though, nothing yet. There's another grouse. They're everywhere this year. Just hanging out. Look at that. That moose walked right over my box. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He must have been curious about the lure. Uh, all right, well, there's that set. Some of these sets, man, I get a lot of faith in them. I think they're gonna catch something and I wait all season and I don't catch anything. But um, I'm gonna go down there. I got quite a few, I get a few miles before my next traps. So we'll stop this and continue later on today. All right, I'm just off the main road here, coming through this area and I just broke into a different township, different landowners. And I've been excited about this, been wanting to set this up for a couple of years. I finally ran my Martin line through here and uh, this is the difference. There's a lot of big wood in here and it appears to be awesome Martin country. So anyway, we'll see if I'm right or not on this. But anyway, I just, this is the very first trap within this township. And uh, I already see some activity in here and this trap is set off. So let's see, look at that. The bait is all gone and the trap set off. I don't know. Um, how that happens sometimes <laughs> but this is there's a martin that has been all around here all over it i mean look at that there's martin tracks there and on the box so this is exciting the very first trap in this area um this was fish baited with fish right by this little brook and i'm gonna reset this and, <clears throat> and rebait it and wow this is cool I'll, hopefully i'll have a martin here next check
Hey, the sun's coming out, the fog is clearing. Got a martin set in this little group of trees here. There was a recent timber harvest here. Um, but they didn't wipe it out. It's still pretty good looking habitat. And right along this brook. Let's see. There's my flag. Do nothing. This squirrel's on the box. Okay, on to the next. This one is a bit of a tangled mess to get down. Right next to this brook. And I'm always setting by these brooks. Because I keep thinking that I'm likely to potentially catch a mink in one of these boxes. In addition to maybe a marten. But the last few years I've done this and really hasn't worked out that way. For some reason, I, I've never caught a mink in one of these boxes. I know it can be done. And I don't seem to catch Martin near these places where you can kind of hear the rushing water and everything. But I, that could just be chance. So I always throw one or two in. Here's my trap and nothing visited it yet. So, yeah. Oh, I like this spot. There's quite a little bit more snow here, a little higher elevation. This is nice, mature timber in here. A little mix of hardwood and softwood. Lots of habitat on the ground for Martin. My set on that down log. Doesn't look like anything today. Smell my long distance call pretty good. Okay, nothing yet. Look at that ground. There's gotta be Martin hanging around here. We're gonna catch him eventually.